Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife and welcome to the Weekend Wrap-Up. If you're new here, let me explain what the Weekend Wrap-Up is. It's just where I take bits and pieces and clips from our weekend, throw it all together into one video, but then we end up over on the couch where Bryant gives you a quick, brief summary of his Sunday morning sermon. So let's join in. Let's just jump right into the video. Thank you guys for joining us and I hope you enjoy. Hey everybody, it's the weekend wrap up. We're having dinner with friends tonight and we are in Greensboro at a place we've never eaten. So you're getting a restaurant review tonight. Possibilities. We'll give you a restaurant review on this. It's a place we've never been. We're excited to go. We're just waiting on our friends. It's storming and raining. The menu looks great. We better get in before we get soaked. I just developed that. That's our cue card in the back. If you're a first time visitor, you scan that. You scan that. And it takes you what's your figure? Scan it. This looks amazing. Yeah. 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 I'm coming around the life of a food creator, food content creator. We're ready to eat. <laughs> Beautiful man right there. Check that out. Look Where at that. that. Looks like Garth Brooks. A 16 I'm shameless. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Look, I'm gonna put it on the. I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna put it on the Greek roller for you. You know how you go to the Greek restaurants and there's always a cake on a roller. Yeah. Well, it is Saturday, and my plans today were to. Uh, make cookies, do the fall decorating, and any cleanup. I did get cleaned up pretty good. And he was going to mow the yard. But after, we. After chickens. After chickens, yeah. He always has to do chickens. But then he was going to mow the yard. <clears throat> but we got a wild hare to do something that we don't do terribly often. Mm -hmm. We're not a every weekend go to the movies kind of couple. But today, we're going to the movies. In the middle of the day. In the middle of the day. We're also going to walk, we're a little early, and so we're going to check out the mall and um, and go to the movies. We hear there's this Christian movie called The Forge. Mm -hmm. I have not seen it. I really know nothing about it. I don't even know what it's about. It's by the Kendrick brothers that did um, several of the other movies. Um, War, Room. War Room. I think they did War Room. Face and Giants. Courageous. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, we're going to... Go check it out. I'll tell you a little bit about it when we come out. Did we give them the we review? We did not on give the them the review. Let's give them the review on the restaurant. It Good. was Perfect. wonderful. Great. Price, Listen, the prices were great. Food was great. We will always be honest. If we don't like it, we're going to tell you. And that's not us being negative, it's being us being honest. This one was outstanding. Their dessert, we even got dessert. Their dessert was outstanding. Everything. Um, 10 out of 10. The prices were great. It's called Postabilities, and it's in Greensboro on Battleground. It's just a, it's in a little shopping center. It doesn't look like it's like going to be anything major, but you go in, and it's really, really good. We will definitely, definitely be going back. Yep. So, all right, let's head into the mall and see what this movie's about. Well, yesterday we got in the mood for buying Benji stuff, and so Papa found Benji some shoes. Let me show you. Here we go. Look at Check them out. Hey. What's even better is the price. They were on sale, and then Hang they were clearance, the and then regular, they were the, the regular fifteen bucks. They were clearance down to eight bucks, and then they were fifty percent off eight bucks down to four dollars. Hey, you'll never know. Good. And um, 
What do you think? It was phenomenal. I don't know what you can see because the sun is in my eyes greatly. But anyway, it was an amazing movie. And I highly suggest if you need a good Christian movie to go see, go see it if it's showing in your area. The Forge. And maybe suggest your church to go. It was so, so good. Yep. yep. So good. So tell me where we're heading now. Now, we are headed to play pickleball. Pickleball! Pickleball. So, How many times have you played? I have played zero times. And he's played what, two? So, we are beginners in the total honest sense of the word beginners. We are beginners. I'm a professional. So, um, this should be fun. I don't know if I can film and uh, play pickleball too, but we'll see how it goes. If not, if not, we'll at least show you the court and we'll show you my face when we leave. So before we jump into the pickleball clip, let me just tell you that the, the video I had was seven minutes long. I did edit it down till about four, but I didn't want to edit any more out because I was super proud that I went and played pickleball and I wanted to go back and look at it. So if you're not interested in it, just fast forward. If so, enjoy watching me miss the ball, hit the ball, do good with the ball. I mean, just enjoy. So um, I just wanted to tell you that there was a reason I left it four minutes long and I intended to. <laughs> right there's where we're going, I think. I'm not sure if we're going to use that one or one of these up here, but... Um, one of them.
Why you show it? Stay with it. Hey everyone, welcome to Couch Time. Hey, 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 hope you've all had a fabulous week. You've enjoyed the videos that she's been putting out this week. Yep, we did. Um, apple fritters. Oh my goodness. Fried apple fritters. They were the bomb.com. They were so good. And then that sausage casserole. The one that had the, was it? The Monterey. Monterey Jack cheese. cheese. It was great. It was so good. And then um, the pumpkin rice krispies. Yeah, that was not my favorite, but I don't care for pumpkin. They were good. The only thing she should have done was drain the pumpkins a uh, little yeah. more. I should have like kept some paper towels on the top and maybe squished them out a little more. Because it was a little it chewy. It, little and chewy. it when it, you stuck it in the refrigerator, it it salt it became solid and crispy. But that bottom layer, I, I guess, where the liquid kind of went down a yeah. little bit. But it was they were good. And then if you, had, you like pumpkin, and then you had the. Uh, Hobby Lobby. Oh, and Caroline's update on the baby. The baby update. We'll be everybody's November is it twenty first? Um. Yeah. Well, so far we're the baby's due date is Thanksgiving Day, which is the twenty eighth. She's a C section, so they'll take on the twenty first. But he's he's measuring much bigger and much older than what he really is, or what they say he is. So they may take him early. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. So, so we've had a, what a great yesterday. You guys got to see it. We had a little date day. It's on here. We went to to the movies. What's we wrong? played pickleball. Played pickleball. Did you guys see the pickleball? She's got some skills. She did really good. I was I proud did of her. Good. I, it's my very first time ever playing. I was proud. She I'm really feeling good. it today, though. I'm feeling good. Oh. I'm good. It's so. it's my back for my arms. Yeah. But so today's message we we did, uh, discovered and talked about um, using our brokenness or letting our brokenness to create a drive inside of us um, for reaching the kingdom. We dealt with Isaiah sixty one, where Isaiah uh, shares about the ministry that God's given him um, to go and to share the good news with the people, to go and go and bind up the brokenhearted and. Uh, to set the captives free. Isaiah talked about what God called him to do. And so today we talked about having, using our brokenness to create that drive inside of us. We talked about three different things that we've got to be for God to use our brokenness. First, we've got to be real. Um, we, we got to get in touch with that brokenness. We can't lose sight of that brokenness because it's that brokenness. When I say brokenness, what I'm talking about is maybe how far we were from God, maybe, um, an event, a spiritual event in our life that um, that brought us to that saving grace of Christ, whatever it is. The other part of brokenness is seeing the world that don't know Jesus and having a heart and a compassion to reach those people that don't know Jesus. So um, maybe it's a catalyst, maybe it's an event, whatever it is that keeps your heart broken and sensitive um, for the needs of this world. So first off, we've got to be real. Um, we got to be able to connect with people through sympathy, through compassion, and, and they've got to be able to connect with us in our weakness. They're not impressed with our strengths, but people are drawn when you're vulnerable and you share your weaknesses. Sometimes as Christians, we wear halos. We want everybody to think that we're perfect. We got it all together. We got it all together. We've always had it together. There's never been moments of waywardness or any sinful events in our lives 
there comes a point in time if we're going to reach the world that's hurt and lost and dying, we've got to be real with them and say, you know what? I've not always been who I am. Let me tell you about my transformation. They need to know we've been where, where they, they are. are. Yeah. And so the first thing you got to be is real. Second thing you got to be is transparent. You got to be able to share in those moments of vulnerability about what God's done, about where he's brought you from, where he's taking you to, where you're believing that path is going to go. And you've, you've got to be transparent and say, you know what? Yes, I, I may have a great job. I may have a great career. Maybe the Lord has blessed me financially, but it's not me. It's not my strength. It's all from God. Let me tell you, if it's up to me, I would be here or there, but it's, it's, it's because God has done it. We've got to be transparent and give him all the praise and all the glory. And we, we've got to let people uh, to be able to see how God has worked in our lives. And then lastly, we've got to be ready. Like Isaiah prayed, Lord, send me. So today I kind of took that and spun it a little bit. I said, instead of us saying, Lord, send me, because not all of us are going to end up in Haiti or, or one of those other foreign countries or Dominican Republic or something like that doing ministry or missions work. This is what we got to pray because we're in the here, we're in the now, we're in our own communities. This is our prayer for today. You ready? Lord, just use me. Use my brokenness and my hurting for this culture and this crowd. Use that to use me to connect with people because everybody needs an opportunity to find Jesus. We got to be about the Father's business. Jesus at age 12. When he got missing from the caravan of people and Mary and Joseph went back to find him, he was preaching and teaching. And he said, I got to be about my father's business. That's what we got to be. You don't need to be about becoming rich. You don't need to become about being um, a wealthy. You don't need to necessarily think about all the temporal things. We got to live here. We got to operate here, but we got to be about the father's business. And last thing, you got to be ready because once you pray that prayer, Lord, use me, he's going to open the door. You got to walk in his anointing, his anointing and God's mission coupled with his anointing. I mean, God's anointing coupled with his mission, walking in his strength will bring victory to people's lives. And so I hope this touches your heart. You got to be ready because once you're ready, he's going to use you. So that was it for today. Was really, good. really good. Good spiritual stirring moment. Uh, and uh, got a lot of people traveling because of Labor Day. But that's okay. We'll be back together next week and uh, have a phenomenal service. Hey, and if you have not seen the movie The Forge, go see it. Go see it. If it's still playing in your town, city. Yep. I got her some flowers. A eucalyptus. Her eucalyptus. I bought it. Yeah. It was on the table right here. Hey, go see The Forge. It's really good. Put up by the Kendricks Brothers. It is um, so good. Really, really good. It, it is heart. Stirring, yep. for sure. Find the theater near you. Go see it tonight. Yep. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining us on the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Hey, I have an exciting week coming up for you. A lot this of stuff. Week. A lot of stuff. We have a lot of great stuff. Uh, we've got our son-in-law's birthday coming up. So, Tomorrow well, he, he's actually already had his birthday, but his celebration here at our house. So, it's going to be great. So, um, got a lot of fun new things to share with you and some oldie goldie, uh, trusted, true staples at our house that I probably share every year. And you're going to get some of those again, too. Cranberry oatmeal cookies. Jamie's favorite. Coming back this week. All right. We'll see you guys next time on the Farm and Pastor's Wife. By popular demand. Yep. And, it, and I know you've seen them before, but we have a lot of new people that have joined in and subscribed. So that haven't, seen that haven't gone back and looked at some of the old ones. So we're going to do it again. But anyway, thank you guys so much. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you, you can, can fry, fry anything. anything. Even apple fritters. Yep. Oh, and they're so good. You got to make them. Delicious. <laughs> Bye, y'all.